Okay, I started removing the top. I see the little drip rail, I guess you can call it. Let the water flow in. It goes all the way around. Comes all the way over here. Where it ends, and I guess it's drain down in there somewhere. So. When I do my car, just gotta make sure I rust proof, rust proof all up in here. Um, pour 15 or whatever. Make sure it's good and watertight so I don't get no rust forming, you know. Because I see it been leaking in here. Couldn't get that bolt out for the seat belt, so I just beat it with the hammer, eventually broke, gave in. So, get my saw, just run along. Start here. Run all along down there. I don't want to cut too much of this frame. This convertible top. Um, I don't care about cutting the car. But I just want to make sure I don't cut too much and have it off when I go to put it in my car. So I need to cut that on around here. Break these welds up here. Uh, I'm going to take... I'm gonna cut it outside of the car. I'm gonna cut the body. I don't wanna cut those rails up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the body all down, like right around here, all the way along here, across there, all the way to the other side, and I'll come back and do the same thing on the other side. That way I don't have to cut this piece here because it's connected to this wheel well. Oh shit, I might have to cut it anyway. Like support for that part. I feel like I'm gonna cut it. Oh. Some more support under here, so cut that out. Same thing on that side, it's another one. Don't look like too hard of a job. As long as you got the right tools. So, man, it's looking pretty easy from here. I ain't gonna say easy, but shit, it's not too complicated. I'll be able to.